Hi, this is Colin Sandy from Sandy Audiovisual. Today we're looking at the JVC GYHM200U. It is a 4K camera and it has uh, AVC HD recording to an SD card and it's a 4K sensor. Um, it's quite modular, it's small and it has professional XLR inputs and of course my favorite SDI in. So here's a camera. It is uh, a very familiar, familiar form factor here with the integrated uh, lens hood, and you can remove that. I'm going to focus in a uh, um, zoom ring, and if you're familiar with the JVCs, you have that iris knob there on the bottom. It also comes with um, this attachment, and it is essentially, um, I guess, a Pro handle it gives you. It doesn't come with a microphone in its stock configuration, but you have your um, zoom or boom mic uh, holder there, and your XLR, your balanced audio, female inputs there, the Nutra connectors, so very good connectors, um, and uh, this slot here is essentially a hot shoe that lets you slide this uh, handle into, and then it has a uh, another shoe to. Uh, Put accessories on, uh, zoom, record, uh, speed for your zoom, tally light. Um, nice handle. Controls here for your audio, channel 1, channel 2, and a flip up screen here that has uh, the ability to change it from line to mic or mic plus uh, phantom power inputs. So let's put this on the camera here. This pops right in, slides back, and screws in. Simple enough a procedure that you can do it one-handed. Uh, once in, it feels very solid. Right? Uh, if you decide not to get a professional um, boom mic for this camera. It does have, uh, as you can see here, integrated microphone, the left microphone here, right microphone here. Um, the grip is pretty good. Uh, I found one thing with this camera though is that it is a little, I find to be off balance. Right, you hold it like you'd hold a regular ENG lens, it is a bit of a heft on your wrist, right, it, it wants to curl. So I could see a lot of, uh, in post, correcting that uh, counterclockwise kind of turn there um, as your hand gets uh, tired. You really do have to do a two-handed shoot on this if you're trying to hold it here on the kind of the pro grip. But, um, and as you can see, you know, the center of gravity really is more where the handle is here, right? You know, this feels very, very natural on the camera, but the, uh, the pro grip really does not. And it has an integrated, integrated viewfinder. You can see the memory slots hiding in behind here. Now, I should disclaim that I did not purchase this camera. It is a loner. Um, so I just have it here for reviewing purposes, but I do sell this camera just as a full disclaimer. And even with that, I got to tell you that I absolutely hate this viewfinder. Uh, when I turned it on, that was the greatest disappointment for me was the quality of the viewfinder. Let's see if we can get it to fire up here. All right. The viewfinder um, looks like it should be on a far less advanced camera. Right. Other than that, I do like the fact that it has a, a joystick there on the left side of the screen and a menu button, cancel and stop button. Uh, it's well thought out and good readouts on the screen. The readouts themselves are very clear and easy to see. But uh, as far as um, image quality on the screen itself, it's very re low resolution. Um, 
you know, the contrast is uh, maybe a little iffy, but um, it will do in a pinch. Uh, I would strongly suggest that you attach it to something like the uh, Blackmagic Video Assist or uh, an Odyssey or a um, Atomo Samurai or Shogun or something like that if you really want to get uh, the best use out of this uh, camera. And that'll let you uh, record to much larger media as well if you're going to do long form stuff. So not a bad pairing. Now for retail of about 2500 bucks for a 4K camera, of course uh, there are uh, features that you're not necessarily going to get at the top of the line and the viewfinder is really it for this. But um, if you really care about what gets onto your, onto your, or into your edit deck, you know, it's not a bad camera. It, it ranks probably up there with the XA20 series from Canon a few years ago to 20 to 25. Um, close to the 25, of course, because it not only has integrated HDMI, but it also has uh, an SDI connector. And it's kind of clever where they hit it, too. Um, so right here at the, let me close the viewfinder. It's right here in the grip. Right. Once this little rubber cover is on, um, you really don't notice it's there. It's a full size SDI connector, plus and bonus for that, no adapters. Um, what is really cool though, and this is, uh, you know, your regular device, uh, HDMI and USB ports here, right? But here's a really cool thing about this camera, right? Hiding under this panel is a host USB connector. So what does that mean? That means that you can uh, have this act as a host or pretty much just like a, any other computer and you can stick in USB devices such as a cellular modem or uh, an Ethernet adapter or um, what have you to get on to a network. So this is a networkable device. Right? You can put it on wirelessly, which I, I wouldn't suggest unless you really need to, or find a, uh, you know Ethernet adapter for that USB port, and you can send out your video and audio pretty much to anywhere on the planet through uh, IP. And it has various network settings in the camera that let you let you set that up. So here's a very uh, very quick look at the JVC GYHM200U. My initial reaction of it is that it's a, a solid uh, competitor, especially in its price range of $2,500. Uh, the viewfinder, I could very much live without. Um, not a fan of it. I would use either the uh, internal viewfinder or put a, an, an outboard um, recorder on this device, but um, it is a solid entry at $2,500.